Hey guys, sorry about that distraction video. Um, one of my roommates came in. They wanted me to do a favor for them real quick. Uh, they wanted me to get them ice cream and shit like that because um, we ran out of candy bars because we usually just munch on candy bars or like one of those ice school fudge things off of 7-Elevens and we're like the best ones in the world. So I'm kind of having a little bit of brain freeze right now, so forgive me on that. I was going to make this a part two video, but I'm just going to start the card collecting thing all over again. As you can tell, the boundaries cross. I already um, did that before. Changed the background a little bit. It's just X and Y now. <laughs> Still got my power aid on the side, so that way it's pretty warm. So, uh, yeah. Other than that, you know, sorry for the little distraction over there. So I'm going to restart this um, <clears throat> card opening all over again where we left off last time. Here we go. We got D.Y. He knows, um, D. Watt knows Rain Splash Waterfall is the second evolution of Oshawott. Servine knows um, Vine Whip and Double Slash. Evolution of um, Snivy. Pig Knight knows um, Roll Out and Fire Breath. 90 HP. 90, 80, 90. This one's probably weaker than the other two then. But he's still kick ass, nevertheless. His speed is literally epic as shit. And of course, you got the Landorus, 180 XP, which is crazy as shit. So he knows Hammerhead and Lands Judgment. So yeah, it does 30 damage if your opponent's bench deck. Do not apply weaknesses and resistance for bench power, bench Pokemon. And then, let's see, when a Pokemon EX has been knocked out, your opponent has to take two prize cards, 180 base age power. Epic as shit. I'm definitely keeping this in the freaking books for sure. Let's move on to the next one. So we got Squirtle. Let's see. He knows Shell Squid. Oh, Shell Squid. Yeah. Shell Shield and uh, Water Splash. He got 60 base HP. You know. Basically one of the old school ones I grew up with when I was a kid. So, you know. You're awesome. Next one up. Ooh. I already showed you the rest of Dwibble. I already got Dwibble. I already know Flail. He's in a, like, a little bit of a different form. I think he's standing up, not sitting down in the middle of nowhere. 70 base HP power. Of course, he's a rock bug type, the first of its kind, so he's still pretty special. Oh, I don't have this one yet. I don't have Frillish, so that's pretty cool. And those Waste Splash, so um, that's 40 base HP power. I actually know it's 80 HP. HP, excuse me. And, uh, of course, it's a Water Ghost, first of its kind. I can't wait to see the sixth generation and see it make an appearance again. Another old-school Pokemon, Electabuzz, um, has 80 H ADHD. <laughs> 80 base HP power. It's an Electro-type, and there's no low kick in my Metablast. And anyone that's in their 20s or over, you would know exactly who this is. You grew up with them like I did, and then you had a Lekid in the second evolution, just second generation, excuse me. And then after that, they had Electivire and um, Diamond Pro Platinum. Most of you guys already know what that is by now. If you're not, probably been living under a rock like, um, did I just see? Like Dwibble has. <laughs> Bad joke, I know. Next one up is Psyduck. You know, he evolves into Go-Duck. He knows Fire Fighting, which is weird. I have no idea why the hell he knows that because um, he's a water type. A lot of people did say he was a Psychic type, but um, back in my days when I was young, back in elementary, middle school, I used to think he was a water Psychic, but he was just pure water, unfortunately. He knows a lot of Psychic type moves for some reason, so I think in the anime series and the manga series, he, he was a water Psychic, but in the car series and the game series, it's like... It was just a pure water type, so I don't know why Satoshi did that. He should just give the fans what he wants and make them a dual type water psychic like Starmie. So, um, make the fans happier, you know? Last one up. Ooh, I got a reverse hollow crow gunk. I haven't had a crow gunk yet. I do got cocks of crow, but that's a his 70 base HP. He's a poison fighting type. First of its kind back in the fourth generation, diamond pro platinum, etc., etc. He knows poison jab. That's an actual move from the video game, so. Glad they put that in there and look at all those little eyes and some Illuminati shit, which I'm not going to get into here. One of Brock's Pokemon before he left him for the fifth generation. So, uh, yeah. And in the bottom, I didn't get to read too many of these, but um, this is what it says. Inflating its poison. And that's what it says. Oh, yeah. Inflating its poison sacks. It fills the area with an old, with an odd sound and hits flinching opponents with a poison drop. So, well, uh, yeah. So that's really all for it now. I got poison. Pokemon black and white boundaries boundaries crossed. So um hopefully you like this video. So uh like I always say, my bros have been bronies and Pegasus sisters. Peace the hell out. I'm gone, I'm getting the fuck out of here and um have a good day, have a good night wherever you're at in this planet, in this world, and uh see you guys around.
Take care. Goodbye. God bless you. Take care. Peace out. And uh, I'll see you on the next one later. Take care. Goodbye. And uh, see you soon. Sorry this was a short um, unboxing. That's all it is right there. You know, definitely worth $4.12. I'll probably try to get another one later on this week so um, I can get my more money's worth. So take care. See you soon. And uh, talk to you next time. Be careful. Be safe. Don't drink and drive. It's only Sunday. So all that good stuff. Take care. Like I always say. Have a safe journey.